Thank you. So there's a variety of problems with the way companies are measure measuring advertising effectiveness today. To begin with, there are very simple metrics that are commonly deployed, things like click-through rate, last click, last impression. They're far too simple, and they often end up missing whether or not an advertising actually caused a conversion event. Click-through rate, most people don't, uh, who click don't actually buy. Last click ignores all of the other impressions that could have had an impact on the user except for the very last one. Last impression just assigns credit to whatever last impression a user was hit with, regardless of whether or not that impression actually caused something to change. There are existing attribution solutions out there, and I put them into two categories. They're either too simplistic or too complex. So the simplistic ones are where you're doing weighting. And maybe you assign 25% of the credit to the last click, 25% of the credit to the first click, and you take the other 50% of the credit and you just evenly spread it out amongst all of the other viewed impressions. Well, it really ends up just being an arbitrary game of how you decide what to weight. So it's just subjective, and you're not necessarily getting an answer that's any closer to the truth. The final approach that advertisers are using today are what I call algorithmic attribution schemes. This is when you take all of the path to conversion event data and feed it into an algorithm and hope that the algorithm can discover which of those impression events caused the desired outcome. Those algorithms are incredibly complicated black boxes, so it's hard to know whether or not you can really trust them, and everyone's going to do it in a different way. But even more than that, those algorithms often end up confusing correlated events with causal events. There's no way the computer can tell that it was the ad that caused the conversion, and not simply the fact that the ad was served to someone who was going to convert anyways. In order to get better knowledge from the data that you have today, you have to change the measurement approach. So I firmly believe that at the heart of measurement has to be experimentation. That's the heart of how you prove in anything scientific that A caused B. The question has always been, well, how do you do those experiments well? And that's really what causal attribution is about. We split our audience cloud into a random test and control group in advance of a campaign and then measure just the impact of that incremental advertising on the test group because we make sure that the advertising is only ever served to the test group, not to the control group. That allows us to tell how much of a change in behavior really was caused by this incremental advertising spend. What's more is you can take that type of an experiment and cascade all of the results down to all of the rich audience data that's available online. So you can figure out which audiences are actually being influenced to be more likely to convert because of your advertising spent and which ones aren't. Ultimately, it gives you a return on investment view that you can cascade down to all of these audience segments and really optimize your campaign towards return on investment instead of to an um, arbitrary metric like click-through rate or last click. I believe there are four key trends driving advertising measurement in 2012. First, and somewhat selfishly, I think it's experimentation. That's at the heart of causal attribution. You have to be able to do these experiments, and today we're getting to the point where we know how to do them simply and effectively at scale. So I see in 2012 a lot more experimentation happening, really questioning a lot of the existing metrics. The second key trend is increasingly being able to measure things beyond the traditional DR types of events, where you're placing a pixel on a website. So today, we can measure point of sale data offline and bring that online, and that can become the desired outcome. We can also use rich media survey units to collect brand response to advertising or to, a, to just a brand and use that as the desired outcome. So increasingly, we're expanding the scope of the things that we can measure. The third key trend I see is the ability to track a viewable impression. So I think it's incredibly important that at the base of everything, you have a viewable impression standard, because there's a great deal of impressions out there today that simply aren't even viewed. So if you're using any kind of a compensation metric or CTR or any of the other sort of more real-time measures, they need to be based on that kind of viewable impression data. So the fourth key trend and final key trend, I think, is really being able to hone in on audience insights. So because you can do these experimentation, because we have all of this rich data in the audience clouds, today you can actually go in and find the right, the perfect audience for your campaign and make that all far more predictive so that in the end, you're really advertising to people whose minds you can change. So I think that that's going to be the final trend that culminates in 2012.